Okay, here we're going to graph the function y equals tangent of x plus pi over 4. And the only thing that uh, is different about this graph when compared to just tangent of x is because of this plus pi over 4, we're going to have a horizontal shift to the left by pi over 4 units. Okay, so it's going to look like tangent of x just nudged over pi over 4 units. So I went ahead and made a quick little sketch here of tangent x. So there that is at the top. So tangent of 0 is 0 at pi over 2. And at negative pi over 2, you have vertical asymptotes. And again, the graph keeps repeating, repeating, repeating. I'm just going to just do one period. Well, instead of being at 0, 0, since we're moving everything to the left by pi over 4 units, so let's make this negative pi over 4. It'll now go through, it'll cross the x-axis at that x-coordinate. Instead of our vertical asymptote being at x equals pi over 2, it'll be at x equals x equals pi over 4. And likewise, instead of our uh, other vertical asymptote being at x equals negative pi over 2, it'll now be at negative 3 pi over 4. So a half uh, minus a fourth would give you negative three-fourths, and again, just keeping the pi's in there. So, so there's our vertical asymptotes, x equals pi over 4, x equals negative 3 pi over 4. Um, if you wanted to, you could always plot some extra points. Again, we're graphing here tangent of x plus pi over 4. And if you substitute in x equals 0, we'll get tangent of pi over 4, and that equals positive 1. So on the y-axis, it'll be crossing at y equals 1, but then it still just has that same basic shape. And after that, it just keeps repeating, 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 repeating. So let's see. So in this case, the vertical asymptotes, well, we've got a positive one at x equals pi over 4. And to get to another one, we basically just add or subtract multiples of pi. So we can write that as saying the vertical asymptotes occur at x equals pi over 4 plus pi times n, where n is an integer. The zeros, OK, well, we've got a 0 at negative pi over 4. If we add pi to that, if we add pi to that, you would be at 3 pi over 4. And again, to get to another 0, we would simply have to add a multiple of pi. So I'm going to write the zeros as 3 pi over 4 plus pi n, where n is an integer. You could have just as easily said the zero. You know, another correct way of, uh, of saying this would be to say the zeros are at x equals uh, negative pi over 4 plus pi n. But a lot of times when you see solutions, people uh, often tend to use the smallest positive one and then tack on the pi in or, or, or whatever. So I'm just kind of following that convention. But that's all there is to it. Just the same graph as tangent x. Same graph as tangent x. It's just been nudged to the left by pi over 4 units.